Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Grab yourself a cup of tea and let's talk some boxing. Now, Eddie Hearn seems to believe that Undisputed can happen next year and he does believe that the postponement of July 24th between Wilder and Fury actually helps this. Now, his reasoning for that is because he would fight on July 24th, Tyson Fury, and he would likely win. I mean, based off of the last two fights between these two, we're even questioning if we need a third one. So that tells you all you need to know about who is the favourite going in. Then Tyson Fury wants to fight one more time this year, which would be a reasonably quick turnaround, especially if he was to fight a top opponent. Maybe that's not what we're expecting, but still, if he fights again, Eddie Hearn said that just takes it even further. And it is another fight before Undisputed can happen, which makes it kind of difficult because Anthony Joshua will only fight once this year against Alexander Usyk and you can imagine why they would be skeptical about negotiations with Tyson Fury because the thing is about what has happened is it has caused inactivity for AJ because he fought in December now Tyson Fury was supposed to fight in December but it never came off so AJ was getting that momentum back getting back in the ring facing one of his mandatories in Kubrat Pulev, so that was great, but then you would hope from that point he could start getting some more activity, so then getting out perhaps in April, May, that gives him a good turnaround, and as I said, gets him back in the ring, gets him active. I would imagine that that is what Anthony Joshua was hoping for, especially after a year out of the ring. Now he's going to be fighting in September, which means he'll be out of the ring for a lot longer than he had expected and that is down to the negotiations with Tyson Fury. Eddie Hearn spent five months trying to make that fight and he secured everything that he promised in trying to make it but still it did not come off. Now you would see it from Eddie Hearn's point of view where it would be difficult for him to believe that this is going to happen. After he put all of that work in to try and secure the fight, and AJ remained inactive during that period. Of course, he has been able to train, but I mean, it's not the same as being in there under the lights in front of the fans. That is a different kind of environment, and that is the kind of environment AJ needs to be in, especially at this point in his career, and he needs to be having two or three fights every year. But in the past two years, he's only fought once a year. In 2020, once at the very end, in 2021, once towards the end. So he won't be able to get that kind of activity back until 2022. And I would imagine that he would be skeptical about putting time and effort into trying to make another Tyson Fury fight if it means he'll have the same kind of inactivity as a result. Because what happens if they spend another five months after the Usyk fight trying to make it and it doesn't come off? and Tyson Fury has a mandatory call, which, I mean, it kind of should be in Dillian White. So, it is a sticky situation for Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua, and if they don't try and make the fight, then there are going to be some people who say AJ doesn't want the fight, even though he has been the one who's constantly campaigned and tried to make it. I mean, I didn't see many members of Tyson Fury's team trying to make this one. It was mainly AJ and his team. So that does prove that they want to do it, and the fight wasn't put off due to anything on AJ's side. It was down to Tyson Fury and his team. I mean, this could have been cleared up earlier in the year, even last year, but it wasn't, and that's just the situation that ended up unfolding. I just can't see them wasting any more time trying to make a Fury fight if they are going to be unsuccessful, so... Last time around we heard Eddie Hearn say, there is no backup, I mean, they know that Usyk is going to be there as a mandatory if they cannot make the Fury fight, but they weren't partaking in negotiations to make that one, and that is the reason why the September 25th date is the date for this one, because there weren't any prior agreements or negotiations for that one to be made, it only started after Fury Wilder fell apart. The difference is, Fury and Wilder signed literally within a week of the arbitration, so things were going on behind the scenes, things were in motion. We even heard about July 24th, when they were still talking 
about AJ Fury, so they had some time. I would imagine next time around, they will have something in reserve, because what can they do? Can they just stick to fighting once a year, trying to make these kind of fights? It's not really plausible, especially given the stage AJ is at. He needs to remain active. These are his prime years in the sport of boxing. He isn't going to want to waste them in trying to make a Tyson Fury fight when he can be fighting two or three times a year. Now, that being said, Eddie Hearn did seem to believe that this could be a positive note when trying to make the Fury fight because they will be fighting around a similar time. AJ is fighting September 25th and the projected date for the trilogy fight is now October 9th. So that is in close proximity to one another, meaning that they could potentially go straight into Undisputed and negotiations could get underway quite quickly, but I would fully expect AJ to have a backup this time around and no one could blame him for having that. I'm just wondering what is going to be the situation for Eddie Hearn because he does look after Anthony Joshua and he does look after Dillian White as well, albeit a fight by fight deal. Still, he does often put Dillian White's fights on. So there is going to be a conflict of interest because Dillian White does need to get that world title chance and there must be some pressure put on the WBC to call Dillian White as mandatory, especially in 2022 meaning that could cause a problem for Undisputed if they try and make it in 2022. So White will be trying to get in with Tyson Fury, and we can expect nothing else. AJ will be trying to get in with Tyson Fury. So there needs to be something sorted out there. The Liam White does need to get his chance. He has waited long enough. I'm just wondering how they're going to work that out, especially given both of them want the Tyson Fury fight. I'm just wondering how they are going to settle it because, I mean, Tyson Fury could ask for an exception to make a unification and I would imagine that that will happen if he does have intentions of facing Anthony Joshua. I'm just not entirely sure he can get it given Dillian White has waited that long, but Dillian White has never been called as a mandatory, so given that, I would imagine he would be able to ask for an exception to make a unification putting off Dillian White's opportunity again. I would say that it is possible that Undisputed can happen next year, but I'm not entirely convinced it happens after AJ Usyk, after Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. I just don't see it. Maybe later in the year, but then again, another mandatory could come for AJ. It doesn't seem like it's going to be simple to get these two in the ring together. I mean, it hasn't been up until now, it hasn't been to see an undisputed fight, even when Deontay Wilder was champion. So, it isn't going to be easy, it's not an easy task for Eddie Hearn, for Anthony Joshua, those behind the scenes, to try and get it done. I would expect them to focus on the job at hand at the moment, obviously Alexander Usyk, that is the most important fight for AJ, and Deontay Wilder is for Tyson Fury. I believe that AJ is in a tougher fight because I think that we don't really know what to expect from Usyk, it's going to be different, and he is a top challenger, I mean, he hasn't made waves at heavyweight just yet, but let's not forget the pedigree, let's not forget undisputed cruiserweight champion, yes he's coming up to heavyweight, things are different, but still, he is a truly gifted fighter, and we've seen Tyson Fury batter Deontay Wilder in the second one, beat him conclusively in the first one, yet only get a draw. So, we know what happens between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, we do not with AJ Usyk, so that makes that the important fight at the moment. Anyway guys, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below, also leave a like and grab that subscribe button. Thanks guys.